good day. Since I had such a, a good record of so many people watching my last video on, on the lighter winch, I thought I'd do a little how I did this shit. All right. When I started off, when I started off doing this, I didn't have the stance I have now. See how it's so low? Because it's so low, my lighter leash that I had up front, which is one of these, not the ones that everybody is showing. This thing's super skinny. This, this one's different than I have one I have on here. The one I have on here is super skinny. And this, what it is, is it came like this. And you separate these two right here, and you pop this out. You take this crap all off, and you put on whatever you want in the front, along with what kind of hook you got, like this one. This one's got black. This one here has got a white rope. And it's starting to get frayed, which I probably should have used. It's probably a good thing I didn't use this one. See, this one's going to shit. This one didn't have nothing. It was just a crapper. But this is a lot thinner than everybody's talking about. And I put it in the back. But you have to take the thing off. Cut a slit. Go all the way through. Otherwise, you got to cut this and retie. And that's just too much of a pain. I just took the body off and took the bumper off and cut a slit up the, up the thing. Poked the hole. Called her good. I did have it up front. But the way I got it set up now, with this lowered stance, took all the springs out so it just sits right down. But it's got hell articulation in the back. And the front would have it too, but I'm testing out some rubber bands, as you can see. And it's still got, I don't know, it's, it's a work in progress there. But I did have it up here. And because it sits so low now, maybe I can put it in there. But there's not much room if you put the shock somewhere else. So I threw it back here. A lot of people are putting it under here. And you can maybe do that with, uh, with another truck. But there's not enough room. Especially if you move your shocks from where the stock position, I got them way up higher. Stock position is down lower. I got them as high as they'll go. But if you put it on here, or move them to here, it, it, it brings everything, you know, up. So it doesn't work right. I'm just testing things out. I like it here, because I can still use it. It's not as long, but who gives a shit? It was, I think it was $2 or $3. Oh, sorry about the shot. I just, just took it on wherever. It's, you know. Oops. Go all the way back. But this helps out for like, if you want to pull it backwards too. You know, say so you get stuck doing something else and you want to go backwards. Just hook it wherever. I think it looks better back here than up here, because I want to, I wanted to put the bumper back on, kind of. As you can see, it's pretty chopped. And I like to sit low, because it brings everything down, versus way up like this. And this gives it some more back weight. Gives it some more back weight, because this thing is so front heavy. It's now... Uh, it's almost even. It's still front heavy. That's how I did that. The lighter leash trick. And it's like I got everything metal except for the axles. Metal, everything. Metal, metal, metal. Metal drive shafts, metal links. I didn't put metal there because I have this one on my other Jeep. The front housing for the diff cover this is my, on my other one, even purple motor. This is my second servo. Um, 
lights I put on here so they can shine down on the ground where you see when you're going forward. This is my second set of rims and tires. No, third set of tires, second set of rims. So yeah, I like this. I like this way it's set up now. But yeah, the lighter leash trick is the least expensive thing to do. I just poke the hole from the hole ahead up front. I just use it again, wherever the fuck it is. Sorry about the swearing, I don't care. And yeah, I just leave two wrapped up with uh, heat shrink, and the other one I leave it open in case you have to hook it on something sharp. Yeah, I love I love these new tires. I want to take the foams out. I think foam is kind of overkill. But yeah, that's the lighter list trick. You can either put it there. A lot of people are putting it there or up there, which is the easiest. And you just got to poke a hole and run it through. Or you can see where it was. Where the magnets are, because them, them holes are the most worthless thing. I had the lighter leash there, and I wanted to get a lower stance, so I moved it. This was hitting, so I put it back here and ran it around just like that. And that's the best way if you want to get technical. And then you just wrap it around the thing like that, and it actually looks badass too. You just pull it out straight out and hook it to whatever you want. It's it's such a pull. You know, because it pulls on the back. And so you can almost hold the machine. And you yank it out. And then hook to it. And it pull, I think it pulls better because it's pulling from the back versus when I hit it on the front. Because when I hit it on the front, it seemed to yank the front end down when you're going up shit. And this thing, and this kind of keeps it even, because it's pulling from the back. Let's say you're pulling uphill. It's, I don't. It seems like it keeps it even. I don't know. When I had shocks on this thing, it seemed to keep it even, versus when you when I had shocks on the front, and I had the winch on the front, it would pull them down tight like they are now. But when I didn't, when I have it like this without with the shocks on it. With it in the back, like I have it now, it's they seem to rise up a little bit more. But it's everybody's got their own preference. I just wanted to show and explain how I did that, and how everybody's using these uh, lighter leash things. But they're but they're so thick. This one's so thin. It's my thumb is thicker than this thing, and it's all due to the proper lighter leash. Thickness. See how thin that is? It's super thin. I mean, this one's a generic lighter leash, but super thin versus these other ones I've seen people buy. And for three bucks, I'd rather buy the real one. Just look for the one for the black nylon. It looks better. I left this rubber. I should have put this rubber on the backside, but I didn't. But there, there you go. That's, that's how to do that. The lighter to leash winch on the scx24 lighter leash winch the cheap version because who wants to spend more money than they already have i mean they nickel and dime you unless you fuck you got 10 bucks for this 20 dollars for these 20 dollars for this and the tires were 30 dollars alone the bead locks you know these these I don't know what they were, 20 bucks. I mean, it's just nickel dime you to death. The motors, you know, they're not cheap. The aftermarket batteries aren't cheap. Magnets weren't cheap. These servos, you know, if the analog ones are cheap, but the digital ones are not, and then I ain't going to spend $60 on a reef. That's crazy talk. Well, good day. Good luck. and Make a video.